In this gastrointestinal article from the American Institute for Radiologic Pathology and Beth Israel Deaconess Hospital in Boston, Massachusetts, Shawkat and colleagues review the imaging of pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma and its variants. Typical features of pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma include an indistinct, poorly enhancing focal mass that obstructs pancreatic and bile ducts. MR is useful for detecting isoattenuating tumors, particularly those producing pancreatic duct dilatation, as MR has superior contrast resolution. Adenosquamous carcinoma is a mixed tumor histologically, containing at least 30% squamous differentiation that is associated with a poorer prognosis than pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma. The tumors have a predilection for the pancreatic body and tail and tend to be larger than pancreatic ductal adenocarcinomas at presentation. On CT, they tend to be large, round, lobulated masses with central necrosis and progressive enhancement of a fibrous capsule. High signal intensity on T2-weighted images is attributed to mucoid or necrotic components, which can be a differentiating feature from pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma. Colloid carcinoma accounts for 1 to 3% of exocrine pancreatic malignancies and is usually diagnosed after surgical resection. Trousseau syndrome, or migratory thromboembolism, is associated with this subtype as the mucin, comprising at least 50% of this tumor by definition, can activate the coagulation cascade. These tumors can be confused with intraductal papillary mucinous neoplasms, or mucinous cystic adenocarcinoma, due to their attenuation at CT. The mucin accounts for the high signal intensity of these tumors on T2-weighted MR images. Hepatoid carcinoma is an extremely rare and aggressive extrahepatic pancreatic epithelial malignancy that resembles HCC morphologically and immunohistochemically. The tumor is typically exophytic, well delineated, hypoattenuating at CT, and shows hyperenhancement during the arterial phase, with washout in the portal venous phase and diffusion restriction. Medullary carcinoma is likewise an extremely rare variant of pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma, seen as a well-circumscribed mass with central hypoenhancement and T2 hyperintensity. Signet ring cell carcinoma is a variant of pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma where 50% of the cells show large amounts of intracytoplasmic mucin with an indented and peripherally displaced nucleus forming the characteristic signet ring configuration. Pancreatic metastases from a gastric or breast primary are more common than primary pancreatic lesions. Imaging features are limited to case reports. Undifferentiated carcinoma shows no defining features and is considered a variant of pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma. A large hypodense pancreatic mass is seen with cystic degeneration, necrotic components, and peripheral enhancement. Undifferentiated carcinoma with osteoclast-like giant cells appears as a well-defined solid tumor with smooth margins and low attenuation compared with the healthy pancreatic parenchyma during pancreatic and portal venous phases.